Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can send multiple rows in response from Power Automate to Power Apps. So now, let's get started. Sometimes there are situations when we are receiving some of the response from our Power Automate flow and we want the end outcome to shown into our power apps. So how can we do that? I am going to explain that thing in detail with the help of example. So first of all, let me talk about the requirement over here. So basically here in this particular session, I have prepared one of the flow which call the SharePoint REST API to get the users from the SharePoint group. So basically I just used a simple flow call send an HTTP request to SharePoint and I just used this particular API over here and now whatever the end outcome of this particular API response I wanted to have that response into my power apps. So basically I wanted to display all the users from my power automate to my power apps. So how can I do that? Let me explain you that thing in detail over here. So whenever we are testing this flow, we are getting this type of response. So first of all, let me show you the response that we are getting from our REST API. So basically this is the REST API call and from the REST API I am getting the response like this. I am getting this entire JSON structure in such a manner. So now let me show you the JSON structure first in the Notepad++. So I just added this, uh, this JSON structure over here. Now from this entire JSON structure I wanted to retry only three fields. One is email, second is title and third is this login name right and I wanted to show this information into my power apps so how can I do that because in this particular response we are getting multiple rows and how we can pass this multiple rows from my power automate to power apps so here you can see that in this particular JSON array basically we have three different JSON object and I wanted to have all of these three JSON object at once into my power apps. So now let me explain you how we can send these multiple rows from my power automate to power apps. So let me just edit my flow and let's add few action in order to fetch multiple rows from power automate to power apps. So this is the API call that we are getting here. Now I wanted to fetch the values from my JSON object. So how to parse JSON object and JSON array I explained in one of my video. So for detailed information you can visit that video. The link is available down below in the description box. Apart from that I am also explaining some high level overview as well here. So you can also check that. So basically let me just take the compose action over here because I wanted to parse my JSON object so just click on input and just click on expression so I just wanted to have body as expression in that I need to pass the action name so uh, whatever the outcome that I would be having from my send HTTP request action I just need to pass that so let's pass this particular thing over here uh, and let me just do one thing let me just remove this unwanted part because I just wanted to copy my action name over here that's all so just remove outputs from here as well as this one as well right then just place the question mark uh, the first object is D and then result so let's pass D and then similar way results so first of all I am parsing this particular JSON object over here just click on OK once we reach to this position now we have JSON array now I only wanted to map few keys so I will use select action now why do I use select action and all I have prepared the separate video for that so go for that thing so basically select action is something first of all it will take the response from our compose action that is output 
now i do not need all the fields right uh, because this entire array is so huge but i do not need every field from my power automate to power apps i only want three fields and i just wanted to rename its key as well so i'm just uh, using this particular select action over here so let me just add it uh, let me just add key first so i'm just entering my key as email over here same way let me just add my key as claims and one more key display name now for uh, for this particular email i need this as an outcome uh, the key value is email so i just need to copy this one and i just need to use an expression item and from this particular item i just wanted to reach up to key email so i just need to use that key just click on ok same way we just need to have claims value here so in item question mark square bracket single quote and then i want login name as claim so i just need to use login name over here same way display name go to the expression we just need to use item now here we need to pass the display name so let me just pass this display name as title so let me copy that key paste it and ok right so we are getting we we have mapped this particular keys with the actual json keys from the object that we are getting now let me just save this particular flow and now let me just taste this thing that what outcome that we are getting from here and then we will send this particular response to my power apps so let me just perform one taste so your flow ran successfully and what outcome we are getting we are getting this type of outcome let me just copy this thing and let me paste to one of my notepad so here you can see that i am getting multiple responses one two and three right now i wanted to have all these responses together to my power apps so how can i do that so let me just edit that and now let me add one more action this is the most important action so just search for the action response so here you will be finding the action response just add that action now in body pass the select outcomes body so i just need to select this output from here just click on show advanced option the most important step is we need to pass generate from sample so basically in response we are getting this type of outcome right we have seen that now what i wanted to do here is i just wanted to pass a sample json payload over here so basically i just need to copy any of the sample here that my json outcome would be like this so let me just complete one square bracket so i'm just adding one object in the array and click on done so that will add my response body json schema automatically over here now we just need to save this flow and now let's taste our flow here the flow ran successfully here we are getting this type of response uh, now we need to call this particular flow from our power apps so let me just create one power apps over here so let me click on new app click on canvas app and i'm just creating one blank canvas app and i'm going to trigger my power automate flow from my power apps and we will be getting multiple rows as a response over there so i'm just clicking on tablet layout from here and that will create one blank power apps for me now i just need to add one button where i want to trigger my flow so i'm just adding this button now i'm clicking on action clicking on power automate and now let's add our flow so uh, send multiple rows from power apps to flow this is my flow so let me just add this flow so i just added this flow here just complete the square bracket and let's check its data type so just hover on just select this entire statement and you can see that data type is table right so remember one thing if you are getting boolean data type here meaning that you have not added your uh, payload properly over here into flow right so make sure about that thing 
now let me just store that result to any of the collection so let me just use clear collect and let me use output variable for that so I'm just using output my collection name is output let me just complete the bracket and hit enter now let's just run my flow so I'm just running this flow and now let's check the outcome and here we are we are getting this type of JSON response over here and then we can use this multiple rows anywhere in the data table or in the gallery anywhere we can show that so let me just add that date one of the data table here and let me just provide collection as input so I'm using output collection and let me just add some of the fields over here so I'm showing display name and email so this is how I displayed all the users from my SharePoint groups from Power Automate to my Power Apps. Isn't that amazing? So this is how we can pass multiple rows as a response from Microsoft Flow to Power Apps. Hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this topic, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and podcast. If you wish to receive daily notification from my WhatsApp number to your WhatsApp notification, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on WhatsApp. If you wish to listen different podcasts on Power Platform, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to my podcast homepage. From you can listen your favorite podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify and lots of other platform. Just click on your desired platform and you are good to go from there. Stay tuned with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.